Hey everybody, if you're interested in having some cheap, waterproof, and uh, pretty cool looking uh, paneers and top case, then stay tuned and I'll show you what I did. Here is my pannier and top case setup. What I'm using is from Pelican. It's their vault system. These are actually ammo boxes and uh, they are completely waterproof and they're pretty cool looking. I mean, they, they suit an adventure bike just fine. Um, and then for the top case, what I'm using for now is a uh it's a case from harbor freight it's called i'll put it on the screen uh the apache case that's right and um i needed something that was a little bit bigger i needed to be able to fit a laptop in it uh, for commuting back and forth from work so i ended up doing this one even though it does kind of a overhang onto the passenger seat but in all reality i don't really ever carry a passenger so that didn't bother me. Uh, it also created a nice place for me to put my uh, my toll reader so it's secured when I'm not on the bike. And then the way these are connected to the bike, um, I ended up using SW Motec's uh, system. So SW Motec has a system where you can quick connect and disconnect uh, from their racks. And most rack manufacturers, they, they have something like this. So you don't have to do this specific SW Motec. Just kind of take the idea and use it for yourself. Um, so right here, we're gonna unlock it. It's actually easier if I grab this cord. So boom, boom, and we're off. So as you can see here, this is the rack. Here's the mounting points. And then on this Pelican case, what we have is these mounting points um, that just lock on. Now the way I got these on, this is where you gotta be slightly handy um, and have some basic tools. Let me show you the inside. All right, so the inside of the case, what we have is this metal backing plate. This plate, is normally designed for you to attach your soft uh, pannier bags to uh, to your bike. So what I did is I took the plate, put it on the other side, drilled through the holes, and then basically I just ran the bolts that are meant to go onto the plate. I just ran them through. And that gave me the mountings on the outside. In regards to um, to whether or not it's waterproof, it has been totally 100% waterproof. I live in Florida, I've driven through some pretty thick rainstorms and I have had zero, zero, zero uh, leakage into these cases. And I didn't put silicone on it, I didn't do anything special, um, except for the holes are a tight, tight fit. So if you have a drill bit that's a little too large, then you might want to silicone it. But if it's a nice tight fit, you really don't need to do anything else. For the top case, the way this is set up, uh, I went ahead and bought a, um, a top rack. This one is made by Tusk, uh, but again, it doesn't really matter. And then what I did is I just drilled some holes through here and I used, um, I used some bolts and nuts and I used the kind that doesn't have a head on it so it's a little bit harder to unscrew from the outside when everything is locked up. Uh, and then I grabbed some plastic spacers because as you can see here, in order for, I, in order for me to mount this, I would, have, I would have been on the seat. So I needed to kind of raise it up a little bit. And then for security, for keeping these guys on, I kind of just got this um, this little cable system, looped it through, uh, I zip tied it on so it would just stay on there if I wasn't running any kind of uh, lock at the time. And I just run that through here and boop, onto the uh, onto the case. So as you can see, we just go boom, boom, and lock. Um, is this gonna stop a real, real thief? I'm always shopping the real, real. No. Is it gonna stop some jerk, kid, whoever, from just snaking your uh, case off your bike? Yeah, yeah, probably will. Uh, so far, I haven't had anybody <laughs> 
try to disconnect it or anything so my luck's been good so far cost wise this has been pretty pretty effective and you know all in all it doesn't look so bad um, I would love to have a little bit larger of a top case but I've also gone as far as to put a bag on top of this and just use a bungee cord net and, doop, 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 and that gives me a little more storage on those moments when I really need it um, if you have any questions leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you so yeah all in all this has been a great case setup for me um, I recommend it to anybody totally waterproof kicks butt it's inexpensive you've got these cases I believe are 60 bucks this was about 60 bucks and then the uh, the actual rack plates I think were around 60 bucks so all in all you, you can't find hard case waterproof panniers and top case for that kind of price it just it doesn't exist so that's kind of why I went that route and to make sure that I actually liked it and would use it um, I don't really have any plans on upgrading the side cases anytime soon top case I, I might look for something bigger and I'm happy to stay in the pelican realm but um, we'll see we'll see where that goes so I hope you enjoyed I hope this helped give you some ideas on what you can do for your own bike and uh, if you liked it please like and subscribe thanks bye